Hi, welcome to Step by Step through Mark's Gospel. If this is the first episode you're watching or you're listening to, uh, hopefully you'll have the time to catch up on previous ones. Our plan is to go through the book of Mark in the Bible, seeing what it shows us about Jesus and what it means to follow him. As well as listening to or watching these talks, I'd also encourage you to read Mark's Gospel for yourself. We always put a link to an online Bible in the video descriptions, so do make use of that. Just over a year ago, I converted our garage into a living space. It was fun to plan what we might do and come up with all kinds of ideas. We wanted the room to be a place where our kids could play their music, as well as be a spare bedroom for company. As we began to get serious, there was a critical question that we needed to ask. What would it cost? How much would we have to pay and would it be worth it? Today, we're going to look at Mark chapter 8 and verses 34 to 38. Here, Jesus tells us there is a cost to following him. That raises a question for all of us, whether we're thinking about following Jesus or we're already following Jesus. What is the cost and is it worth paying? In verse 34, Jesus speaks to his disciples and the crowd that has gathered. He says to them, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. Now, that statement contains two phrases that help us understand the cost of following Jesus. First of all, Jesus says that anyone who wants to follow him must deny themselves. Let me ask you a question. Who's in charge of your life? Who gets to make the decisions that affect you? Now, depending on your situation, there might be several answers you give to that question. But the answer we want to give, the answer we'd love to give is me. I decide what's right for me. I decide what happens to me. We want to be in charge. We want to be in control. But Jesus says, if you want to follow him, you need to give that up. A life of following him is not a life about us. It's not a life where we do the things we want to do. It's a life about him. It's a life where we do the things he wants us to do. So Jesus says we must deny ourselves. Then what does he say? We must take up our cross. I don't own much jewellery, but I do have a gold chain with a gold cross on it. I wear it from time to time and as I put it on, it is a reminder to me that I'm a Christian and I want to follow Jesus. Yet wearing a cross is not what Jesus is speaking about here. The cross in Jesus' day was not a piece of jewellery you wear or a piece of wood that decorates a church building. No one would have wanted to be reminded of a cross. Why not? Because the cross was an instrument of torture and execution. To take up your cross was to walk to your death. Think of Jesus. If we're going to see as we go through the book of Mark that Jesus took up a cross, where did it lead? It led to a hill outside Jerusalem where he died. There was purpose in his death, yes, and we're going to see that. But it was still death. Jesus raises a question here to all who would follow him. How serious are you? How devoted will you be? Will you be ready to follow me even to your death? Are you willing to give up your life for Jesus? Okay, so that's the cost. And let's be honest, it's a big one. Now for the other part of our question. Is it worth it? Well, what does Jesus say in verse 35? For whoever wants to save their life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for me and for the gospel will save it. Now, at first sight, those words seem to be all mixed up. To save your life, you must lose it. But it makes sense in the bigger picture of the Bible message. The Bible tells us that we are sinful. That means we disobeyed God and we don't love him or worship him as we should. Remember earlier, I said that each of us wants to be the one who makes the decisions for our own lives. We want to be in control. That might seem okay to us. You know, honestly, what's the problem? But the Bible tells us that's sin in its purest form. God made the world and he made us. He is the king and we were created to follow him. Yet we've flipped that on its head. 
and we want to sit on the throne. Does all this matter? Well, yes. God has said the punishment for sin is death, eternal death. You may have heard the word hell used to describe this. One day the Bible says we will all stand before God's throne of judgment and answer for the lives we have lived. Jesus is the only way we can be forgiven. He is the only way we can escape the judgment of God. Therefore, if we lose our life by denying ourselves and following him, we actually save it. Okay, but isn't there another way? That's the question Jesus deals with next. Verse 36 says, What good is it for someone to gain the whole world, yet forfeit their soul? Look, Jesus says, You can spend your life amassing the greatest pile of money and riches. It won't help you on that day. So money isn't the answer. But what about other things? What about acts of kindness, generosity, charity? What about living a good life? Won't that solve the problem? Well, look at verse 37. Or what can anyone give in exchange for their soul? Jesus says there is nothing we can give, no price that we could pay, that would be enough to save us on the day of judgment. Only Jesus can make a difference. That's what he means when he ends with this chilling but serious warning. If anyone is ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, the Son of Man will be ashamed of them when he comes in his Father's glory with the holy angels. There's a cost to following Jesus. But Jesus says it's worth it. It's the only way to save your life, not just now, but for eternity, for life after death, for heaven. Are you up for the challenge of following Jesus? It's not a challenge you'll face alone. The Bible promises that God will give every follower of Jesus all the help of the Holy Spirit. God himself living within you. When you become a Christian, you also become part of God's family, the church. No, you won't be alone, but it's still not going to be easy. Are you ready to follow Jesus? That's all for today. Keep your eye out for the next episode. If you want to be notified, why not subscribe to us on YouTube and hit the notifications bell? Or you could follow us on our Facebook page or subscribe to the podcast through Spotify or on Apple. Hopefully, See you next time.